Greetings. This devotion is for the 23rd of November, and the reading for this day comes from 2 Timothy chapter 2, verses 8 through 13. Remember Jesus Christ raised from the dead, a descendant of David, that is my gospel, for which I suffer hardship even to the point of being chained like a criminal. But the word of God is not chained. Therefore, I endure everything for the sake of the elect, so that they may also obtain the salvation that is in Christ Jesus with eternal glory. The saying is sure. If we have died with him, we will also live with him. If we endure, we will also reign with him. If we deny him, he will also deny us. If we are faithless, he remains faithful, for he cannot deny himself. So, the writer of Timothy, of, of Second Timothy, calls Timothy to hold fast to the faith. And understand, this, this text here is a little different um, than, than a lot of the other epistles that, that are written to churches and, and congregations. And so we, we kind of see it that way. This more than likely was written to an individual who, uh, Timothy, who was helping the churches and, and being with the churches. So this is more of a personal letter, um, maybe from Paul, um, maybe not, um, to, to who we know as Timothy. So, so then again, here we have this, the, the, the writer of, of Timothy uh, encouraging him, trying to build him up. So as he proclaims the message of Jesus in a very unfriendly world. Now, we're not Timothy, of course, uh, and, and our world is not exactly the same that, that Timothy was, was proclaiming the gospel in. And by the way, this is in somewhere in, in what we now know as, as Greece, Turkey, th that kind, that area of, of the world. But, you know, the world we live in, <laughs> nevertheless, has certainly its, its, its challenges, doesn't it? I mean, more and more people are less and less w willing to claim a faith in Jesus. And to be sure, we live in, in an incredible challenging time for our country. Uh, the pandemic, which of course is a worldwide challenge. We're in the middle of, of an election cycle that doesn't seem to go away. You know, we've, 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 got, we've got these things that, that we've got to, to work through. The thing is, a directive faith in God helps us and gives us what we need and gives us the perspective to deal with the challenges in front of us in a kind and loving way. That's the message to Timothy. Really, it's timeless, isn't it? It's the message to us too. Join me in our Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen.